Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Are defamation cases hard to win? And defamation cases involve a plaintiff proving that a statement made by the defendant was false and harmful. There are two types of defamation, libel, which is written, and slander, which is spoken. To succeed in a defamation case, the plaintiff must demonstrate that the statement was published or communicated to a third party. The plaintiff must also prove that the statement caused damage to their reputation or livelihood. And then in the United States, public figures face a higher burden of proof in defamation cases. They must show that the defendant acted with actual malice, meaning the statement was made with knowledge of its falsity or with reckless disregard for the truth. Private individuals, on the other hand, need only prove that the defendant was negligent in making the false statement. And defamation laws vary by jurisdiction, which can affect the difficulty of winning a case. Some states have anti-slap laws, which protect defendants from frivolous lawsuits intended to silence them. These laws can make it more challenging for plaintiffs to win defamation cases. And end defenses to defamation include truth, opinion, and privilege. Truth is an absolute defense, meaning if the statement is true, the defendant cannot be held liable. Opinions, as opposed to statements of fact, are generally protected under the First Amendment. Privileged statements, such as those made in court or legislative proceedings, are also protected. And overall, defamation cases can be complex and challenging to win, particularly for public figures. The burden of proof and available defenses make these cases intricate and often difficult to navigate. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.